Case number three is taken apart. She sounds good. Why'd you stop my music? Because <laughs> I can't video and have it on. All right. You can kind of hear that. Just gotta undo the mount, undo the six bolts in the transfer case. I already got all the wiring undone. So mount off those six bolts, transfer case will be out. We can put it on the bench and figure out what's going on with it. Yep. Keen got the transfer case out of this Suburban. He's got it locked into the vise on the bench here. Um, he's gonna tear it down. So these are a little bit weird the way they work. Right here, I'm taking off two speed sensors. Yep. I got this one and there's this other one right here. Two right here for the rear drive line. And there's a third one right there for the front drive line. Right there. Yep. These have an auto function for like auto four wheel drive. So one goes to like ABS. This is like your speedometer. And the other one on the rear and the one on the front is all for the auto function. They are definitely a little different. So there's a big clip inside of there. Get in there. There we go. And that's what holds the rear output bearing to the case. The cause of failure on this one is the classic pump rub. There's a hole right there. All the fluid comes out through there and, and then the rest is history. There'll be way more on that when we get it tore apart. You'll be able to see everywhere the pump's rubbed. All right, all unbolted. These are really nice. They give us a perfect little spot. One right here. And another one right on the other side. So we can just pop it apart. Pull that right off. You can see each spot right there, right there, right there. Where the pump has rubbed through the case. A little hole right there. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I think all of them are that way. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, New Venture, for being so cheap. Yeah, that's, that's all they had to keep the pump from rubbing through, but it wore through the clip. And then that case half is just magnesium, so super soft. You can saw through it with your thumbnail. So, so that's what we put in. Then it rubs on each tab, and yeah. it's equally. Yep. Yep, these ones, the just a case saver. This one's a pretty ex inexpensive one. There's a couple other places that do like a billet machined case saver that's even nicer, so. But uh, <clears throat> they can be a little hard to get, so. Look at that, that's just like dust on that sprocket. So it's it's clean right, or this is what it looks like now. You can see right where I wet my finger. My finger yeah. was clean. Yeah, there's no oil in this at all. When we uh, drained it. We got a tablespoon out of it. About a tablespoon and it came out with some chunks. Yeah. I don't know where my dad went, so I'll video for a second. But I just got this shaft out. Um, so back to that auto function right in here. This is a clutch pack that the computer will see the, the difference between the output of the rear drive line to the output of the front drive line, and it'll engage that to engage power to the front end. And then when they start seeing the same, it'll back off and put it essentially back into two-wheel drive. Here, this is where things start getting a little nasty inside the transfer case. It is pretty, pretty baked. I dare say it's cooked. It's got a fine goo everywhere. Take a little bit more apart and get the rest of this out. Because the other one was so bad, I'm pulling apart another parts one we had in the shed to see if we got good parts. I pulled more than you off. Whatever. Well, that looks good. That's a that's a nice transfer case. I'm almost wondering if the input gear is the same and if the shift motor will just swap over. Yeah, if the shift motor swaps over, we just put this in it. Let's put the new case half and a case saver in it. Cause look, it's broke this. Yeah, that's broken. So um, as long as this guy right there is right. That's where the shift motor shifts. So we just gotta make sure it bolts on. 
So uh, we thought it was gonna be a good transfer case and then we saw the magnet and we're like, oh, we better tear that one apart just to be sure. It's a good thing we did because uh, I mean, you can see how much play it's got. That's not supposed to move at all. No, look at the planetaries too, so. Yeah, I think it's, let's see, which one is it that's broke? That one right there. It's yeah. broke, probably because the needle bearings let go that holds it all together. And you can see all the needles. Well, I guess that's a few needles and some silicone. But there's needles all right here from when I pulled it apart and on the floor. And then the bearing, the little plastic keeper that keeps the balls oh, separated. Yeah, look at that. I mean, you can see there's a few of the pieces. Yep. That's Pages what holds. all tore apart. And, and then right there, yep. there's a big chip missing. So this case. Yep, it's toast. We pulled speed sensor and driveline boot off because those are worth saving and probably these bolts. Those three bolts and the rest of it is garbage. Sad thing is that was supposed to be a good transfer case. I guess we haven't showed you this. This is the one that came out of the Suburban. You can see how hot that one's been, how discolored it is. And then, is it that one? Yep. Yeah, yeah well. the bearings are completely gone out of that one. Oh, that one's, that one's pretty, pretty well done. Oh, actually, we may not even need to tear that out. Look at the teeth here. Oh, those teeth are... Uh, they're good. They got goo all the goo on it, but there's no chips or. Okay, so that that input's worth keeping then. So. Yeah, this one's not right there. Yep, it's junk. Yep. So that's completely toast. That's recycle. You can see how hot that's all been. Yeah, and then you can see the bearing looks like looks like it had a torch taken to it. Oh look at that. Yeah, it's done. that's all. It's all wore out. All wore out. That one's in really good shape though. Yeah, this, this one looks usable, so. So that's one part. But we still need a planetary. Yeah, so we got one more out there. Hopefully it's good. What are your guesses, Dad? Should be good. You know how should is, but there's actual hope there. Case number three is taken apart. And everything looks like new. Oh, hey, look, it's even got a six pinion planetary. Yeah. There. The other two, well, the first one that came out of the Spurban was three. The second one was four. And now we finally got a six. So we got the good one. And then this gear, it honestly, it looks brand new. And then that looks brand new. Yeah, so it's those pads. The other two, these pads are wore out. That doesn't I have any wear at all on it. Oh, and then we were talking about auto four wheel drive earlier. So I'll kind of show you. This is the clutch pack I was talking about. This right here is what goes on the chain over to the front axle so what it does is you'll be going along and then it slicks at the speed sensors and go and sees that the front isn't moving which means that you're on like a patch of ice and what it does is takes this fork and pushes here and it pushes it together you let off this will spin separately you push it in and it applies it and that's what engages so that's how the auto function, it can be progressive rather than a hard shift in and out like this. They gotta engage, so it gives it very smooth transition. That also applies the front axle uh, it, when it's in four high or four low. It just puts maximum pressure on that clutch pack. And it's a really stout clutch pack, so they don't slip. As long as there's some clutch lining there, they don't slip. But yeah, this one's definitely really good it honestly doesn't look like it had very many miles on it the that little clip that's been broke on all of them it's still there it's all good just gotta clean up and start going back together about it for today though so we gotta get some parts coming we need to get it back together back on this transfer case getting it going back together we got the new planetary all cleaned up and going in but i want to show you guys real quick how low range works this is the old planetary that drops in so this is the input. This is goes on the transmission. Transmission output shaft slides right there. And this little gear for high range locks right there and they lock together. So that gets your direct one-to-one -one in a transfer case. And then when you put it in low range, it actually pulls back out of that and comes right here, grabs there. And in the transfer case, right there, it grabs. And if you look, there's two rings and the one farther down in spinning faster, that's your direct for high range. 
Then this one that's spinning lower. In this case, it's 272 ratio, which means 2.72 rotations on the input will make one rotation on the output when it's in low range so that'll go there high range to low range neutral goes right in the middle nothing spins at all so yep we're going back together just cleaning it up getting all the goo washed out yeah that planetary had a bad day oh, all yeah. of the all of the bushing and everything that was in here there's supposed to be thrust thrust washers here and there's a bushing on the inside of this gear and they were completely gone because it hadn't been oiled and you can hear how bad it sounds and how much it moves. So that was all turned into powder and ground into that outer ring gear in the yeah. case. Yeah, in the solvent tank, I had to take a scraper and go through each gear and just get bits out. This Suburban's an 08. And that um, one's probably a 98. Yeah, and so there is differences and we don't want to run into interference issues or incompatibility. So we're trying to use this case, swap over the least amount of stuff that we have to, to not run into that. Hi. Are you getting hungry? Well, you have to look at the time to decide what your belly needs. Yeah, go ahead. Trying to decide if I'm hungry enough to say yes, or if I'm going to really regret it later. Well, I promise you'll regret it in about another 20 years, so. Yeah. <laughs> That should be good. Oh yeah, ah, lots better. Yep, we've been putting oil in every bearing. So we got this all ready to go together uh, for final assembly. We've, we? <laughs> well, I've been supervising, so. Oh, okay, all right. Hey, I gotta take credit. I gotta endure your harassment most of the time, so. Aww. Harassment, like when, I when you say we and I go, what the heck? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and. <laughs> Old people jokes, fat people jokes, you know. Yeah, that's you're, you're true. quite offensive, you know. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, since you've been working on it, you talked about that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, I, I think I just need like a bracelet or something like this. So, okay, uh, this goes right here. This is a, a case saver. We so, talked a little bit about it when we were tearing it apart, too. Yeah. This is a little U-clip. This is all that they had originally to prevent this pump from rubbing into the soft uh, soft magnesium. It doesn't take very long once that clip's gone to wear into the case. So, But this gives you a lot more surface area to push against. And then these are slightly bent, so it kind of acts like a spring to help lock it in so it doesn't rock back and forth. You want to drop it in here and show them? Yeah, so it just sits in here. Uh, like this. See, rather than just having one little tab that went there, now it has four on each spot that's going to try and rub through. So with that, it'll never have yeah. a problem. Yep. And then we, we literally just go like that, and then we can silicone the case halves up right here. Yep. Drop this on, bolt it up. Yep, so this is a new case half. Has a new bushing in the back. We transferred the snap ring from the old case into there. The snap ring is what holds this bearing up into the case half. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Get back to work. Yeah. Wait, wait, shouldn't I have dad? He, he. Oh, or is he? Yeah! Oh, okay. <laughs> Go to work transfer cases all together i've got the the output rear output seals on it everything my silicone together snap ring speed sensors it's all ready except this front input seal these things kind of suck to take off as you can see they're like a two-piece like an oil bath it's seal. an oil bath seal yeah. so you can see this is like a metal race and that's what goes over the shaft on the front output of the transfer case and that sucks to move. You, like this is just like any other seal. You can take a chisel or something and just kind of get it to pop and it comes right out. But then it comes right there and this won't move. So you have to get it back down and pry right down in there. Take a screwdriver or pry bar and get in there. And work it out. There, they are a bugger. But yeah, the new seal, you have to use this fancy installer and go down to where there's a 16th of a gap and then hit it with that socket put it on and then it will be ready to go on the suburban. Hopefully all is good.
but everything shifts good. I had the shift motor off and grabbed it with a pair of pliers and shifted it. Everything shifted appropriately, so I think we're good. All right, well, I'm going to put this on. Slide it on. It's under there, Ken. Take this and... Socket that fits this ring right here. It fits around that to knock it down. Otherwise, this, the little outer piece that you have to peel off, it rubs too hard and it'll kill the seal. So, this spreads it out to get that gap so it lasts. I think that did it. Yep. Yeah. There we go. What you doing? Uh, I'm just cleaning up the surface, getting the old gasket off. Just got a stripper disc so it won't take metal off, but just take this old paper gasket stuff off. Nice. Yep. I'll see if I can she this thing up inside now. <laughs> He's got to do it, not me, because we need old man strength. <laughs> Stupid fat guy strength here. Well, you know what they say? There's old man strength, there's old dad strength, and then there's old farmer strength. You're right in the middle, you're old dad strength. I'm old dad strength. Oh, get that out of the way. Let's see if you help me. Yeah, yeah. Because this isn't a very good one. Okay, just like that. He didn't even break a sweat. Nope, not even breathing hard. All right, got it all in, dropped it down. I'm gonna turn the key on, we'll make sure it shifts. Gotta put it in neutral. If you wanna come here, you can watch the shift. So we're in too high. Make sure it goes to auto. That's good. Four high. Four low. And back to too high. Cool. Cool. She's all That's good? It. Yeah. Another one done. Yeah. The outcome was good. They're happy. I'm happy. Remember, if you're better today than you were yesterday, then that's good enough. Thanks for watching.